All right, let's do it, guys. How to quickly install VST plugins from Image Design. Let's get into it real quick. You got your download already from Mediafire or wherever we put it. Okay, we're going to copy these two. You downloaded the DLL file and the content folder zip. So, quickly copy this. You're on Windows. Windows. Um, next step go to Windows C. You want to go to Program Files. Sometimes it could be Program Files x86 but we're going to program files and we're looking for a folder called VST plugins here it is that's the one got my cursor on it sometimes you can have your plugins in Steinberg's folder you might see over to the left so we're gonna open this folder real quick and easy and we're gonna paste we already copied everything we needed continue yes boom we've got the DLL there now this is the next step this is the content folder you want to unzip this folder and copy it you can drag and drop it if you want what wins it drag it and drop it it can't say content you see how it says MPCX what that does is it tells dolls like FL Studio, sometimes um, Sonar, Ableton Live, or Studio One, where the modules are for the plugin to work. Most dolls, some dolls other than Machine or FL Studio, need this content folder. So we copy it there. Boom. There's the content folder. Now we're good that's it you're done pretty much now the second thing you want to do is open your doll so most dolls will do FL Studio right now we'll do FL Studio I'm going 632 bit version I've already installed it but I'm gonna go to the process you go to channels you go to add more Every doll is different. We're doing a scan. That's what we're doing. Go ahead and here, manage plugins. And right here, I already have that folder selected that you saw in the program files folder. And it'll find it. I'm not doing that one right now because I got too many plugins that I don't use in Fruity Loops in that folder. So you want to click that folder let's say if you're in Ableton Sonar Studio One Cubase you do a quick scan and when you see it in a list usually it'll pop up green or a different color but I've already installed it so but it still will come up in the list and we'll just tag it MPCX, there it is right here. I don't know why it says MPC VST, but that's fine. Let's let it finish scanning. And there we go. We click it in. Boom. And there it is. Click OK. OK again. It's looking for certain modules. And there we go. We're ready. There we go.